Hi, this is Sam Gwen with Siemens PRM Software. Today I will show you the very last part of our design for manufacturing. In this case, we're going to apply this um, analysis to a particular assembly. We see that there are about 55 components within this assembly. Quickly take a look what all these components consist of. There are some um, covers, there are some, uh, uh, there's some housing, there's some fasteners and all that. There are some cover plates. So now, once again, inside the Checkmate, we see that uh, we want to create a particular test. So now we want to go in there and uh, expand our design for manufacturing. We see that one of the options is for the assembly. Let's go ahead and execute that particular test. Now this particular test does take a little bit longer if you consider there are 55 components and each one of those components consists of many different features. The checks that we're going to take place is going to understand every one of those features, how it interfere or potential interfere with one another, or possibly alignment issues. So it usually takes a partic uh, quite a bit of long time. So in this case, I've already expedited that, uh, the checks, and now we'll go ahead and we'll get the result fairly quickly. So now that once that is done, we'll go ahead and analyze what some of the results that we have seen. Let's take a look. The first one is what we call the whole alignment. Um, when these um, assembly constraints are applied, they are properly applied between the um, geometry, whether it be faces or edges, but a lot of times that detailed features of these holes might not be properly aligned, but we'll never know because it's underneath. So in this case, uh, we do see that there's potenti potentially some misalignment of these whole features between the cover and basically the housing or one of the um, uh, in-between plates, if you will. So let's take a look at using a section view, see if we can get a better look at what that, what that looks like. So let's go ahead and, and execute this uh, particular section view. We want to see that in a particular direction, and using the uh, manipulator, we can quickly and, uh, get our design and then uh, stop at a particular hole location where we believe that is having problems for alignments. Once again, we can get a, get a feel what kind of a misalignment. Now this is the type of quick results that we can see from, um, from uh, design for manufacturing for the assembly. Okay, So once that is done, um, then we can uh, take a look at uh, some of the other area that caused us to be concerned about this particular assembly. For example, interference of, of the design. So we see that a particular fastener on a top end does kind of run into a particular surface that it shouldn't be that case. So in this case, that uh, because it's underneath, we cannot see that, but uh, design for manufacturing easily detect that for us. We also see that possibly misalignment of the holes, once again, on a particular cover plate, that the fasteners are not properly aligned. And once again, you never would have um, able to see that just looking from the outside of the um, particular um, assembled um, assembly. So now let's take a look at the next one. This is what we call the fastener accessibility. So in this case, that uh, when we have fasteners, we basically use the fastener to assemble these components together. But sometimes some of these uh, um, assembly, I'm sorry, the um, fasteners might not be able to uh, gain access to a particular area. In this case, let's take a look at one on the front end of that. Well, we see that a particular area this particular fastener, even though in the assembly it looks like it's in the right place, but if you think about it, how can we get this particular fastener to be mounted to that uh, particular area? That's just almost impossible. Um, so let's take a look at that. Other one is what we call the fastener clearance. So basically is, is there enough clearance for fasteners to go into these particular um, uh, female threads? The next one is what we call the engagement for the fasteners are these fasteners have proper engagements. A lot of companies are required to have certain engagement length of this to be able to uh, properly tie the uh, components down. Next thing what we want to do at the conclusion of this uh, demonstration is let's take a look at some of the standard rules that comes with this design for manufacturing. So in this case uh, we can take a look at just one for example, the whole depth to the whole diameter, the L over D ratio. For this particular setting in this company, that we set that to be has to be minimum or cannot be greater than four. So we can actually change that. So a, sometimes for other um, design or other factors and different area of consideration, that value could change. 
So each company can set up their own standards using the rule managers. Okay, so this is where they can come in and quickly make that modification and rerun their analysis and be able to get a different kind of results. And another thing that we can look at is what we call the help. Well, this, along with this particular function, there are additional help documentations that user can access. In this case, that uh, you know, if we want to take a look at milling, what will be some of the pocket, the results that we'll see at the bottom. So a lot of these are uh, readily available for users to review why certain area for manufacturing is important, certain features has to be included inside of your design. All these are available for um, inside the NX under the uh, Checkmate. Thank you very much.